Hi, Hi guys. guys! How are you today? We are good. You are good? So today Ada went for a swimming lesson. So we are going back to our normal life with caution. What about you? Did you do something special? This is Ada and this is Mama. My name is Preeti. Welcome to our channel. And if you are new here, do tell us your name in the comment section. And Neera, Ria, Anirudh, if all of you are here, just say a hello in the comment section. Who is who? Vibhav. Who is who? Vibhav. Vibhav. Oh, Vibhav. Vibhu Bhaiya is there. Hi, Vibhu. All Hi. right. Hi, Vibhu Bhaiya. So today, where is our story hat? Oops. The story hat is lost yes. today. But you know what? We are going to a very special place. Have you all been to Europe? Who has been to Europe? Tell mm. us. Have you been to Europe, Arab? Yeah. No, no, no. No, no right? Fasten your seatbelt. Today we are going to a very special place in Europe. Hello, Ariman. Hi, Ariman. All right. Let's go and have a look at which is that special place which we are visiting today. Are you ready, Arav? Yeah. Ta-da! We are going to present some fun facts about this special place. Uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. How did I easily guess? How did you easily guess? Because it's shown, highlighted in the map. Can you spot Netherlands in red color? Dears, can you spot it? So see, just uh, uh, east, northeast of Netherlands is the North Sea. Can you see that, Arav? Yeah. And what? which are its neighboring countries? Germany and Belgium, right? Yep, can you see Germany true. and Belgium? Yeah, I can. Hi, Ayan. Can you see Belgium and uh, Germany? Can you, Arav? Yes. Let's go and see some more provinces in Netherlands. So, is it the Netherlands or Holland? Netherlands has total 12 provinces. Hey, before we uh, move to the provinces in Netherlands, look at the red color Netherlands. What does it look like? It looked like a poodle to me, like the dog poodle. Can you see the top part red looks like its hair? This one looks like its nose and mouth. And these are the legs at the down and this one is the tail. Does it look like a poodle to you? No. 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 Can you wait? Can you wait up there? I want to see. You want how, to see uh, again? I'll tell you how, yeah, I want to tell you how, here. here. Does it look like a poodle to you? No, it looks like a human there. And it a looks dog, like a human? A dog behind on the human. And oh. the human is running with the dog. You know, Netherlands is almost twice the size of New Jersey. What? It's such a big country. And it has got 12 provinces. And Holland, North Holland and South Holland. Can you see? The purple one is North Holland. And the peach one is South Holland. These two are two provinces in Netherlands. And Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands. And it's surrounded by the North Sea, right? That is true. Hey, can I tell you one fun fact about Netherlands? If you go to Netherlands, you will find the tallest people over there. Eh? Tallest people in the whole world are from Netherlands. Huh? How? Usually, the guys are about six feet tall. That's taller than your dad. And the women, on average, they are five feet and seven inches tall. That's again taller than your mom. So they are like really, really tall. So you have to look at them like this. Hello. <laughs> look up when you're talking to them. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Can I tell you fun fact number two about Netherlands? It is called the flower shop of the whole world. Huh? Yeah, because, 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 because they produce 80% of the world's flower bulbs. Flower bulbs? Yeah, so when you go to Netherlands, right, you're going to find some beautiful and some amazing variety of flowers over there. Nice, no? Yeah, that is nice. The third one. Netherlands, it translates to lowlands. So there are many, many, many low-lying countries in Europe and Netherlands, one-third 
of it is below sea level. That means the sea is higher than the land. Huh? Yeah. Then how are they not flooded and how can they live there? Do you know? Can you see the sea? Yeah. In the picture? Yeah. So they build these dikes to stop the sea from going into the land because the land is lower. Yeah, make sense? That makes sense. But what does the dike do? The dike stops the water from going to the land because the sea is higher and the land is lower. But then how does it stop it? See, it's stopping the water. You see the yellow uh, things like a wall? That's like a dike. It doesn't let the water cross. It stops the water. Can I tell you fun fact number four? This is like a really crazy fun fact. Okay. Do you know where did the orange get its... Sorry, did you know how did the carrot got its orange color? Guess, guess. Guess, guess. Where did the carrot got its orange color from? So back in the 10th century, carrots were white or purple or pale yellow. But there was this king, William of Orange, King Three. He helped the Netherland people win independence from Spain. And how did they celebrate King William? So the farmers very cleverly, they used techniques to turn the carrots into orange color to honor King William Orange. And that's how across the world, the carrots became orange, orange in color. New, new carrots were born. New you carrots know, were born? I mean, you, when new carrots grow, even in Singapore, uh -huh. they're not always orange, are they? Yeah, but most of the carrots across the world are orange, aren't they? Do you yeah, agree? I do. I have do. you seen Have you seen any carrot which is uh, different in color, which is not orange? Let us know if you have seen carrots which are not orange in color. I might have seen a pink one. You might have seen a pink carrot? I don't believe you are a... Uh, have you yeah. all seen uh, carrots which are not orange in color, any other color? Do let us know in the me, comment me, section. Me. Pink or purple? Pink and purple. Purple I have seen, but pink carrots? I have never seen I pink carrots. I have pink and purple and pink. Alright, so let's go it's to our story, The Boy at the Dike. Dike. This is a Dutch folk tale. It's coming from Netherlands. Are you ready? It's Should fiction. we dive into the story? It's fiction. It's fiction. Okay. Whoa, Many yeah. years ago, before your parents or your grandparents were born, a little boy named Peter, he lived near the sea. Which sea? North Sea. Because North Sea is next to Holland, right? Yeah, but... Yeah, but? Holland is not in Netherland. Holland is, is in Netherland, right? Oh, yeah, that's... I didn't know that. Okay. Holland, unlike many countries, the sea is higher than the land. Just now we said that, right? Yep. A lot of countries in Netherlands, a lot of provinces in Netherlands, it's like that. The sea is higher than the land. So the people of Holland built high, strong walls to keep the water out. And we call these walls dikes. What do we call these walls, darlings? Dikes. That's right. Peter and every little child in Holland knew how important the dikes were. If the sea came through the dikes, it could drown all the farms and villages in Holland. Every little child in Holland learned to watch for water coming through the dikes. Even the smallest trickle. What's the trickle? Trickle is like tick. Tick, little drops of water because even the smallest trickle if it comes through then the, the whole water from the sea might come with a huge force and might break the might tear apart the dike isn't it yeah and then there would be flood in holland mm. so even the kids they knew that they have to be very very vigilant mm. and and they have to keep a watch even if there is a small hole in the dike okay Hmm. Even a small hole, no bigger than the smallest child's finger, 
needed to be stopped. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's how high the water is? That's how, because the sea is higher than the land. land. Early. Or they could have just made floating buildings. Floating buildings, that's a good idea. I'm not sure if any of the countries and they have, have given loops and and when they wanted to do a guardian, they could have taken them out and then connected them and then they could be easily go to That's house. some crazy imagination. Then, floating like, buildings, huh? All right. In Netherlands, some I there are some floating buildings. I'm not kidding. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just creating facts from his mind. Early one day. Peter's mother handed Peter a sack of fresh cookies. She told him, take these cookies to your friend, the blind man. Follow the dike so you don't get lost and be sure to be home before supper. Of course, mother, replied Peter. I am seven years old now. I'm almost grown up. I'll visit my friend and be home before supper. Happily, Peter set off along the dike toward his friend's Prince home. House. He skipped through the fields and meadows. He startled a rabbit and watched it leap away. He felt the warm sunshine and smelled the bright flowers. He looked out to sea and saw ships sailing far away. Overall, it seems like a very happy day, isn't it? Yeah, that is true. Even though the sun was shining, Peter noticed that the water was high and the waves were tall. He remembered, I know why my father calls the water angry, he thought. The sea looks as though it is trying to get in through the dike. At last, Peter reached the home of his friend, the blind man. He gave his friend the fresh cookies that his mother had made. Then he told the blind man about his walk along the dike, the rabbit, the sunshine, the flowers, and the ships. He stayed until the afternoon sharing stories with his friend. And at last, the clock struck ding, three o'clock. Peter realized he had better leave or he would be late for oh. supper and mama will give him a scolding. So he set off from his friend's house to go to his house. He followed the dike toward home. He was walking quickly so he would not be late for supper. Peter watched the sun over his shoulder. It was sinking closer and closer to the sea. That means it was almost... Yeah, next to the sea. Yeah, but it was almost evening, right? Because the sun was sinking. going down, sinking near the sea. Peter was almost running along the dike when he heard a tiny trickling noise. He stopped and looked closely at the dike. There he saw a small hole in the dike. Oh no, another whole island can be flooded. Oh no, water was coming through and trickling down the dike. Peter knew he did not have time to run home and warn someone. The water could burst through the dike at any time now. He knew he had to stop the water himself. Quickly, he stuck his small finger in the hole and the water stopped. Peter felt brave and strong. I can keep back all the angry waters of the sea with my little finger, he thought. But Peter was stuck. If he moved, the water would come through again. The sun set and, the Peter, and Peter was still stuck with his finger beside the dike. He yelled loudly for someone to help him. Help! Help! Can somebody hear me? But no one heard him and no one came by. Now what would Peter do? 
I don't know. At Peter's home, his mother was growing worried. Supper had come and gone, and still Peter was not home. She thought Peter must have stayed overnight with his friend, naughty Peter. I will have to scold him when he returns. So careless he is. And she worried and worried. Hours passed like that. Peter was cold and a little scared in the dark because he's just seven years old. His legs and his arms were cramped. Is it easy to stand at one place for a really long time? Nope. He was very tired, but he had to stay awake because if he slept and if his finger left a hole in the dike, the water would flood, flood the village. He had to keep his finger in the dike. The night passed slowly for Peter at the dike and his mother at home. Peter was scared and tired and mother was super mm. worried. Why is Peter not coming back? Home. Neither of them slept all night. Finally, morning sun came. Peter stretched his legs and his free arm because one arm is stuck trying to stop the hole in the dike. But he kept his finger in the dike. He did not move that finger away from the dike. Can you see Peter with his finger on the dike? Yeah? yeah, he was getting hungry, but still no one came. At last, Peter heard someone coming. It was a farmer going to work in his field. Help me, Peter called softly, his voice quiet and super tired. Help me. Fortunately, the man heard him and he came running. Peter told his story and the farmer went for help. Quickly, the farmer returned with other men. They stopped the hole in the dike. Finally, Peter was free. The farmer said, thank you, Peter. You are a brave boy and you kept the angry water from flooding my field. And the farmer carried Peter home. And now the children of Holland learn the story of brave Peter, the little boy who kept back the angry waters of the sea. And they all celebrated with Peter how brave he was and how he saved everybody's life. Uh -huh. And they said, Three cheers for Peter. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Awesome. Let me tell you something. These are all the countries, right? Yeah. This country looks like something is holding a snake. Right. right. Can you spot Holland? Bite. This is Holland. And there is North Sea next to it. Right? So this was the story of Peter, the boy who? The boy who? Stop mm. the dike. So what did you learn from the story? What did you learn from the story? Actually, Anybody, what did you learn from the story? Would you would you like to write it down in the comment section? I know, I know. Yeah. Hey, before you tell me, can I tell you the quiz for today? So you have to tell me Holland is in which country? Your options are Netherlands. Um, Australia or Singapore. It's very easy. Okay, so you have to tell me Holland is in which country? Let Your me. options are Netherlands, Australia or Singapore. All right, mm -hmm. quickly tell us the Nathan, answer. Nathan. You can tell. You can whisper it into my ears. And also let Nathan. us know what did you learn from the story. Aran is right. He got the right answer. And did you get the right the answer? Is if you see anything bad and you know something bad is going to happen. When you should always try to stop it. You should always try to stop it. Even if you are a little child and even if you can make a very small effort, like, you know, some small efforts that you can do, uh, making sure that you always uh, throw waste in the dustbin. Those yeah. are small, small steps that can help you to keep the 
planet earth clean mm-hmm. and also if in your condo you have those uh, 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 those waste uh, waste baskets wherein you can separate the dry and the wet and the recyclable waste right the three bins you should always try and make effort do your small part in keeping the waste in the right basket right these are some of the small ways you can help others right awesome so we we are getting a lot of correct answers anirudh ariman and then ayan and then sharon you're all right holland is in netherlands have has anybody been to netherlands or holland or any country in europe uh, how's the weather there is it cold or is it humid like singapore how's the weather there i think it's cold in europe uh, these are all part of the european continent you know are it must be mild cold in december it must be getting cold right acha yeah. another quiz for you let's see if you know which sea is next to poland is it east sea north sea or south sea so poland is next to which sea i have got it right ah. Oh, I just guess. Yes, you guess, and it was correct. Remember, we looked at the map of uh, Poland in the beginning, yeah. and we saw which sea was next to it. Yeah, but any, I didn't even remember. So we hope you enjoyed story number twenty-five, and you learned a lot of things about carrot and Poland today. And we'll see you tomorrow with another story. Do let us know if you would like us to do a sign story next time. Hey, we are getting some very nice comments. So Anirudh says not see, which is correct, and we are also getting a moral of the story from Anirudh. We should be brave and to take even little efforts for our existence. That's correct, Anirudh. Ariman. Ariman is also right. Right. High not five. See. High five. You did a good job, High all five. of you. High five. But you just say Poland and Holland. What Poland, Holland, and what's that? Pol. You said Poland. Holland. Holland. Holland, Holland. Yeah, it's Holland. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow with another story. Take care of yourself. Ta-ta oh. from Arab and Mama. Bye. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.